안녕하십니까? 온라인 서절의 김경원입니다. Greetings, this is Dr. Kim k y o n of Online Surgery. Let's review today's surgery case. The patient is 68-year-old male patient. In the case of this patient, the oral hygiene was quite bad. The patient wanted implant placement rather than denture. If you look at the initial visit, oral hygiene was very bad and there was very severe periodontitis. It was the same for the upper and lower. In number 31, a tooth is missing. In number 44, there is fracture. The patient's medical history shows that the patient had hypertension and the patient had uncontrolled diabetes and during this period, gingival conditions deteriorated. Currently, diabetes is under control and the patient was taking antithrombotic agent, but this does not affect the surgery. In the lower, use of 1MS was planned to place the implants after extraction of number 32, 41, 42, and the fractured 44. Implants were planned in the lower in number 44, 42, and 32 using 1MS. I'm not going to show you the surgery on the upper today. The alveolar bone atrophy was quite significant in the upper. The patient initially wanted fixed prosthesis, but the upper lip looked quite sunken. So in the upper, overdenture was recommended. Overdenture using four implants was recommended. If you look at the, the image, this is at initial visit. This is the image of oral cavity. Oral hygiene was quite bad on the right side. The anterior side, scaling was done, but if you look at lower anterior area, there's a lot of calculus and oral hygiene was bad. In the upper, four implants were placed and overdenture was planned. In the lower anterior, as shown in number 32, it's like this. And next is number 42. This is number 44. You can see loss of buccal bone here. If you look at the surgical plan after consultation with the one guide team, in number 33, TSBA surface 3.0 by 10 millimeter implant using 1MS was planned, and in 42, 3.0 by 10 millimeter implant was planned as well, and in 44, 4.0 by 10 millimeter implant was planned, and on the buccal side, bone grafting was planned for the lost alveolar bone area. In the lower anterior, in number 32 and 42, 3.0 diameter implants were planned, and in 44, immediate implant placement was planned. AOS collagen was to be used for bone grafting. That was the plan. This is immediate post-op image. Healing abutments were connected. If you look at number 32, implant was placed like this. The original plan was to place in the extraction socket, and you can see that implant has been placed very accurately. In number 42, it was very narrow ridge, but you can see that 1MS was utilized to place the implant in the desired position. In number 44, after implant placement, AOS collagen was used to do bone grafting on the buccal side. The oral hygiene was very bad at initial visit, and in the lower anterior area, abutments were connected, and final prosthesis was delivered. In the upper, overdenture was provided. You can see that without denture, upper lip looks quite sunken, and using denture to provide support was considered more favorable for this patient rather than implant placement. If opportunity rises, I'd like to share with you the upper case as well. As shown in the lower, prosthesis were delivered. This is the panoramic image. Compared with the initial visit, it looks very favorable. And the patient was very satisfied. In number 44, you can see that after implant placement and bone graft, it's been about 7.5 months and it's nicely maintained. In number 42, after 7.5 months, you can see that it's nicely maintained in the thin alveolar bone. It's the same for number 32 as well. 
After 7.5 months of follow-up, you can see that we were able to gain favorable results and in comparatively narrow ridge in the lower, one MS was utilized to place the implants in the desired positions. Let's look at the surgical clip. Extractions were done in the lower anterior first, number 41, 42 were extracted. Extraction was very easy for number 41. In number 42, there was a bit of uh, alveolar bone, so luxation was done for extraction. In number 32, extraction was done. In number 44, the tooth fractured on the top part. In this case, I use a number 9 molt elevator for extraction. In order to remove granulation tissue, thoroughly mess was used and curette was done. Sufficient curettage was done. Buckle wall is fractured, so implant Placement was done more deeply. Bone graft was considered. Curatage was done in number 32 and 42, and adaptation was done. You can see the template fits nicely in the lower anterior area. In the case of 1MS, the sleeve length is longer, so it's better to fixate it properly. You can see 1MS pass drill, 7mm pass drill is used because this is extraction socket in order to prevent the slipping. 7 mm path drill was used. In order to get double contact concept, short path drill was used first. After that, this is a 13 mm 1 ms path drill. You can see that there is a black laser marking and if you do it up to the stopper, then it's going to be 11.5 mm. So a little over 10 mm of drilling was done. 10 mm implant was planned, so drilling was done slightly over 10 mm. 2.3 by 8.5 mm, 1 ms drill was used to prevent slipping. 2.3 by 10 mm could have been used, but to prevent the slipping, 8.5 was used. In order to prevent slipping, 8.5 drilling was done, and 2.4 by 10 mm drill was used to drill full length up to 10 millimeters. Double contact should be maintained if possible to prevent any deviation. So I added another step to prevent deviation. 2.3 by 10 millimeter 1 ms drill was used for full length drilling. 2.3 by 10 millimeter drilling was used full length and to increase stability in the case of 2.7, I've drilled a little shorter. I've used a 2.7 by 8.5 millimeter 1 ms drill, 2.7 by 8.5 ms drill. In order to get more stability below, I have only drilled up to 8.5. A TS3 3.0 by 10 millimeter implant was placed after sufficient irrigation. Offset is 13 millimeters, so in order to prevent any locking phenomena, implant was placed 80% using engine. In the case of 1MS, it is long, so you need to be careful. Implant driver was used. Torque wrench designed for hand wrench was used to get final position. Primary stability looks good, over 30 newton centimeters. You can see that implant was positioned accurately in order to prevent a deviation as much as possible. On the left side, in number 32, implant driver was positioned to have it serve as a vertical anchor. And number 42 was placed because the ridge was very narrow in order to prevent a deviation. Such attempts were made. 3.0 by 10 millimeter implant was placed 80% using engine and hand wrench was used to position the implant in its position. Primary stability was over 30 newton centimeters. So you can see the placement was done nicely. 
for number 44 because this is an extraction socket in order to prevent deviation. 7 mm path drill was used first. 13 mm path drill was used as you can see. The lowest part is 8.5 mm and the second laser marking is 10 mm. So I drilled up to around 10 mm. Path drill was used. Initial drilling was done first. Full length initial drilling was done. After that, 3.5 by 10 mm one guide drill was used. 3.5 by 10 mm one guide drill. On the top part, this was where root was. So this area collapsed and full length drilling was not easy. In this case, 11.5 mm longer drill was used to adjust the depths. A 11.5 mm a longer drill was used because it didn't go in full length because of the stopper. A longer drill was used. 4.0 by 10 mm one guide drill was attempted, I think, because of the stopper. There, there can be interference. You can see that full length drilling was not done because there's contact. The area where there was a root rest collapse occurred. The 4.0 by 11.5, a longer drill was used. You can see that it's not fully in contact up to the stopper because there's a bit of interference and that's why a longer drill was used. A 4.0 by 10 millimeter implant was placed. This is BA surface implant and it was placed 80% using engine. Hand wrench was used to position the implant. Primary stability looks sufficient. You can see that it's over 30 newton centimeters. Hex positioning was done nicely. Implant was placed as shown in the lower anterior area because it was deep smart peg measurement was not possible in the case of 44. Primary stability looks good. ISQ was about 80. Healing abutment was connected in the anterior area first, number 32 and 42, and in 44, healing abutment was connected, and on the buckle bone defect, as mentioned earlier, bone grafting was planned. As you can see, with healing abutment on, AOS collagen was used, and in the buckle bone defect, bone grafting was done at the same time. Because this was where root rest was, there was a bit of collapse. AOS collagen was used for sufficient bone grafting. In order to augment the buccal side, this was done. Augmentation was done up to the healing abutment and suture was done. Because this was extraction socket, the suture was considered more favorable. In the mesial and distal side, interrupted suture was done. After that, from the buccal side, past the healing abutment through the lingual side, and then from the lingual side to the labial side and buccal side. Needle was used like this. It's a type of horizontal mattress suture, so this was fixated like this to compensate for the lack of gingiva. Primary closure was not achieved. Suture was done so that it could be maintained and around the healing abutment, a type of matrix suture was done and surgery was completed. In the lower anterior area, because this was also in extraction socket, the suture was done to close soft tissue.
Today, I've shown you how 1MS was used to place implants in the lower anterior area. I've mentioned this when I was showing you the surgery clip. Compared with one guide, 1MS has offset from template top to implant top is 13.5 millimeters. The sleeve length is comparatively longer. In the case of lower anterior area, you need to be aware of potential walking phenomena. Because immediate implant placement after extraction was done, path drill was used so that there was no deviation in implant placement. This is very important. Thank you for watching.